Hello. In this video, we will discuss on attenuation and derive a general expression, the general expression for attenuation in rectangular waveguides uh, or any waveguides. I am Dr. I am Dr. I.M. Professor E.C. G.R.I.E.T. Hyderabad. Expressions for various field components of TE waves and TM waves and various electromagnetic quantities in waveguides have been obtained assuming perfect conductors. Because boundary conditions exist for perfect conductors only. By perfect conductors we mean there is no loss due to conductors. However, in practice, we do not have perfect conductors and in practice, there will be losses due to finite conductivity of waveguide walls. Computation of losses seems to be difficult because fields depend on losses whereas we assumed there are no losses. It is first assumed that losses will have negligible effect on field calculations. Hence, without including losses, hence, without including losses, a very good approximation is obtained for fields. Magnetic fields calculated using above, met above method. Magnetic fields calculated using our method is used for calculating currents which will be very close to actual currents. These currents and resistance of walls are used to calculate power dissipation. An expression for alpha is obtained. We will take example of uh, uh, a transmission line. In a transmission line, in a transmission line, V is equal to V naught e power minus alpha z e power minus j beta z. I is equal to I naught into e power minus alpha z into e power minus j beta z. Average power transmitted P average is equal to 1 by 2 real part of P i conjugate is equal to 1 by 2 real part of V naught I naught into E power minus 2 alpha Z. Rate of decrease of power is minus dou P average divided by dou Z is equal to 2 alpha p average. Now minus dou p average divided by dou z divided by 2 r 2 p average is equal to alpha that is alpha is equal to power loss per unit length in the direction of propagation divided by 2 into power transmitted. This seems to be uh, this seems to be general concept, hence this can be applied to waveguide problems. After obtaining alpha, we may write field expressions involving e power minus alpha z. Please note that this factor was uh, not there in our in initial derivation of field expressions that is we assumed alpha was equal to 0. These expressions may be used to obtain second level approximation of losses. However, for metallic conductors of high conductivity, first level approximation is quite accurate. Now, this expression of alpha can be used for finding out attenuation 
for various modes in rectangular uh, waveguides. Thank you.